Okay, wait a minute. Can you? Well, you got glasses on. <laughs> All right, live from Waterloo's Public Access Studios, it's Miss Rocky and Shaviva's North End Update Live. Bringing you the good stuff from a North End perspective. We see the good, we share the good, and it's making us all look good. Yes, today's guest is Leisure Service Director Paul Hutching, and welcome to Friday. You know what time it is. Boom! Boom shakalaka! shakalaka! Where'd that come mm. from? That is Ooh. so awesome. Yes, yes. that yes, does look does. familiar to you. That's the mm -hmm. new Gates Park. Yes. Well, thank you so much for watching today. We are sitting on top of Gates Park, I guess, today. Mm -hmm. A shout out to our very special uh, frequent viewers that's yes. brought to us by Waterloo Center for the Arts. Yes, indeed. Joel, Joel Elliott, Tony Brown, Kelly Conrad, Erin Maiden. Yes. Hey, Abinah, Sharon Dale, Vicki St. James, Clint Shepard, and Scott Kowalti. Mm -hmm. Our Tones Awards recipients, we got to shout them out yes, too because sure. everybody's been waiting to find out who mm -hmm. are these awardees, Shaviva. Mm -hmm. who, we got Paul Hutting today. That's right, our guest today. And Vicki Brown, yep. Nia Wilder, yes. Grant Veter, Tavis Hall, Gretchen Harris Souter, Daquan Campbell. Chastity Martin and the staff of Royal Legacy Christian Academy, Jalen Jones, Dequavion Burke, Felicia Smith Knowles, and Lyrical, and last but not least, Caesar Bravo. Yay! Yay! Yes, these are some shining stars in our community, mm -hmm. and they are going to be recognized at our Tones Award reception and soulful celebration, mm -hmm. which will be held October 11th, that's a Friday, mm -hmm. from 6.30 to 9.30 at Waterloo Center for the Arts. Mm -hmm. The tickets are only $25, mm -hmm. and the table mm -hmm, is yes. $180. Right, and for a table of eight. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But before we go any further, we have to absolutely... We have to talk about the food. <laughs> the food, Chaviva. Okay. We have a soul food appetizer. <laughs> okay. Right? Yes, we're soul having all of that. Appetizer. That's wonderful. Soul, yes. soul train line. Mm -hmm. What okay. else? Well, awards. See. Yes, awards, yes. 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 All of these things, which, which we will talk about, of course, in more depth as we get closer and closer. But I just yes. wanted to stop for right now to... Oh. You know, acknowledge and send condolences to Cherie Kaba and her family for mm. the loss of their mother and grandmother, uh, Pauletta Nelson Bridges. Yes. Yeah. Thank so. you. That's, yeah, we're so sorry. Our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Pauletta was a, a change maker. She was in our community and so supportive to her daughter and family. Yes, and she was a radio personality. Some of you may remember her as Mama Sita. Oh. She played the best, uh, the best oldies that really take you back. I mm. mean, I mean, maybe for you had to be a certain age to um, really recognize that it's sort of the soundtrack of your life. It was for me, anyway. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Much condol many condolences to you, Cherie, mm -hmm. and we're thinking and we love you. Okay. All right. Switching gears. If you are watching us live right now, mm -hmm. hello. Yeah. And if you usually watch us on Fridays at four or Saturday mornings at ten on Mediacom, mm -hmm. hi future. That's right. Yes, because this show mm -hmm. is going to be when to be. It's going to air next week on Mediacom okay. on Friday at four and Saturday at ten a.m. That's right. Okay. So today we want to let you know our talking point will be you're not going to master the rest of your life, Paul Hutting, mm -hmm. in one day. We're going to talk to him about that later. That's right. So just relax, That's master right. the day, and then keep doing that every day. Yes, okay. indeed. And yes. somebody might need to hear that other than Paul, too. So mm -hmm. we want you to think about that as yeah. the show continues. And yes. for our Give It Air, it's, it's uh, about racist things. That's and right. And this is uh, an exhibit that's on at the African American Museum in Cedar Rapids. Yes. So I thought it was worth talking about because a lot of people always wonder why we talk about it's past, it's over, you know, yeah. but it, these things need to be talked about so we can understand mm -hmm. what we do nowadays to counteract that stuff that's been going on for absolutely, years. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And we want to say newsflash, birthday people, be sure to stick around 
for your shout out and song and hear our wonderful voices. Yes. Wishing you the best for your special day. Exactly. Yeah. And Paul might just want a solo today. He seems to be <laughs> in a celebra <laughs> celebratory mood. Oh, you know, because yeah. he might. Is this your last day? Not with these two lovely people. Oh. No, okay. <laughs> in the background. Okay. <laughs> and, Oh, he oh, has a couple okay. more weeks. We'll right. talk to him about all that. And mm -hmm. congratulations to our prize winners. And that was yes. Shakara Todd. Yes. And today, and today was Dave Bozen. Dave Bozen. And yes. you know what? Dave Bozen, they were, they were like neck and neck. So Betty Galloway Dietrich also won something. She won some monster cookies. A oh, that's right. Yes, because oh. it was hard. Diane was watching, but not close enough. So, <laughs> so they both came in at the same time, so we wanted to split the gift. So okay. congratulations to Betty Galloway Dietrich yes, as well. Yes, I'm sure she would have no problem consoling herself with those delicious cookies. That's right. Okay. All right, well now we get to talk to Paul Hudding. Yes. Hi yes, there. Yes. Hi there. Yes, okay. I think we're, she's going to bring you right in there. All there right, we go. there we are. All right. yes. And look at you are so proud of what we're sitting on top of today. You know what? <laughs> it's a pretty nice park. It is. It is. Um, I actually met you there one day by accident. By accident, yeah. and you interviewed me? Yeah. And, um, yeah, that was an honor. Right, the kids um, love it. That was opening day, I believe. Yes. Uh, or right around opening day. I just sent out an update to our funders today, oh. and I started hearing back from them. The project isn't done yet. Keep that in mind. Oh. We're, the the things you see on the screen behind us are done. The the inclusion park and the spray park are done. They're they're wonderful, but a lot more to come. But the, as the funders were acknowledging the progress, um, I heard. Go ahead. Okay, she's helping me with my mic. Thank you. You're welcome. I could see, I could hear Agnes. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> so anyway, as, as they were acknowledging the progress, heard a lot about people who had family who had gone to the park, mm. and mostly kids who had gone to the park, and now they're begging their aunts and their uncles oh. and their parents to go back, and that really makes you feel pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I took a, yeah. Um, it's, it's been tremendously busy, and the timing was really good and bad. The bad part was Burns Pool had to close early this oh, year because it, it just completely failed. Mechanical failures and you know it's an old pool and it, it was time but it, it, we weren't quite done with the season yet but the spray park opened and it was hot. Oh it yeah. was very end, hot end, that end day. End of July and it stayed Oh hot, look at so. the fun. I was going to say yeah. I took a random ride through the park uh, one day so. and the kids were really enjoying themselves so much. Uh, yeah it was beautiful to see. It's state of the art, and we just are so proud of it. Um, and I know you're doing all kinds of stuff all over the city, but this is, was this your, the big baby This for is you the big one, of yeah. this year? Yeah, this is, well, probably one of the biggest ones of my career. Oh. Um, Mayor Hart and I have been talking about this since he was on council. Oh my and, goodness. Um, wow. Uh, many years ago, I'm not sure how many, he could tell you how many, one of the first things we did was go over to Gates Park and say, this place is tired and we need to make oh. it special. Yeah. Well, it took a few years, but it's pretty special and it'll be even more so come next spring when it's all open. Now, um, describe what, what, what you mean when you say when it's all open. What does well, this park include? I know you've told us before sure. with the preview, but let's be you know, over that. Agnes may have some of the images, but if not, that's fine. We yeah. have. The construction crews are out there today working on the amphitheater, which overlooks uh, three new basketball courts and a skating track. A skating, um, roller skating? Wow. Roller skating. Stop, right. really? Right. Yes. We have been needing that so, for so long. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And the setting is just beautiful. Mm. Um, when you're on the stage at the new amphitheater, which I'm sure you'll be up there singing happy birthday. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna party but, at the uh, amphitheater. When you're on that stage, <laughs> the view of the rolling hills and the mm. pine trees and the wow. golf course behind it, it's just a, a really nice spot. So, um, And then other things that are happening, the soccer field is done, but it needs to finish growing for another year before we're gonna open that. So. Uh, there'll be a brand new soccer field you with mean the grass, the turf right, needs right. to so. and irrigation. Mm. Uh, the Hispanic Soccer League has been there for years, oh. and it's a very, very busy field that wow. was pretty much beat up. So this one now, yeah. with uh, proper care and irrigation, should be a, a really nice field, and we expect it to be very busy. <clears throat> There's a small playground near that as well, and then when you go to the south, 
to what some people call Little Gates or oh, Lower sure. Gates yeah. off of Leicester Street. That's included There's too. a big mess down there today, but it's a good mess because they're busily uh, putting in new parking. They took out the old basketball courts because we have the new ones at Upper Gates now. Uh, and those were all broken up concrete and pretty unsightly. Um, they're working on landscaping around that ugly flood wall that went in. Oh, Sorry yeah. to call it ugly. Oh, it's it's yeah, nearly new, but it oh. just... It's it, going to be a great It's going to look a lot better. And uh, we're moving play equipment from behind the flood wall to the dry side of the flood wall. And Good idea. And <laughs> um, a new uh, picnic shelter in that area and just a uh, half, new half-court basketball for kids who want to just play a little ball in the park. Mm -hmm. So that'll be just like a nice little community park sure. on Leicester Street there. Hmm. So a lot of things happen in there, about between 11 and $12 million worth of improvements. and. I'm not going to start listing all of the funders. I've done oh, that before sure. on your oh, show, you get lost. but yes, okay. they, this community just reached out. Not only the major funders, but the individuals who um, we just got another thousand uh, dollars two days ago from wow. someone sure. on the Make a Splash funding through the Waterloo Community Foundation. So, so people and organizations have been have really stepped up to fund this. So it is a transformational change for Gates Park. The other part of this is the gate or the Burns pool, which is oh, has, right. has been removed. Okay. And we're hard at work, uh, or the con contractors hard at work building a new pool. So. And that's, that's just been now. since it closed down this summer. Right. It, it was like an emergency shutdown. It wasn't just quit. It? It, the mechanicals quit, oh. and it was leaking. It had been leaking, but it, it just got to the point where we couldn't keep it open. Oh. So it's gone. It's the pool gone, is gone Well, that's some and fast work. Yeah, mm -hmm. construction on the new pool has begun. Good. They're putting the main drain in today. So, oh, good. So, a um, lot, of, lot of things going on there. I do want to talk about the Mayor's Fun Run, but Oh, yes, you tell go me for when. it. I want you to talk about the Mayor's <laughs> okay. Fun Run, because, okay. you know, that's what's well, up. We want to know all I have notes. Stuff. Okay, we if need to know all okay. the stuff the mayor's doing because he's been kind of busy. Well, next Tuesday <laughs> at the Expo Plaza, and this happens every year, or has for many, many years, going back to Mayor Roof, uh, so that'll give you an idea of how long it's been going on. But uh, about 900 fourth graders will be on the Expo Plaza, all pumped up to beat the mayor in a run. Um, it's a great time, and then after the run, after they all beat the mayor, so that's the objective. You got to run and race against the mayor. Yeah, and he's really slow, so it's not a, it's not a big problem. <laughs> okay. Um, so I meant in running. Oh you yeah, know, of course. He is my boss, so I have to yeah, be careful with that. A little respect um, here for the honorable mayor. So Hart. I, I want to recognize some of the groups that help us with this. The Kiwanis Club. Uh, they fund the T-shirts and they have volunteers on the bridge to keep kids safe. The Youth City Council, uh, Waterloo okay. Youth City Council, yes. are, they're volunteering, they raise volunteers. Cedar Valley Catholic Schools, they do set up and clean up. Uh, East High School has the Star Spangled Banner and Color Guard. Waterloo Blackhawks are offering free tickets for the first home game for the kids. Uh, Advantage screen, fin uh, screen Print, I'm sorry, is keeping our cost low uh, for the event t-shirts. Silos and smokestacks will be handing out clappers for the finish line. Oh, and clappers. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. I love the graphic. Yes. yes. And we can't forget Main Street Waterloo. They're of doing course. maps and set up and just helping organize us. And then the afternoon venues, one of them will be, the, the image is gone now, but at Gates oh. Park, at the Inclusion Park and Spray Park. Now that's Depend so I think important. it's still supposed to be hot next week. So oh, yeah. Yeah. some of these kids, I don't know if the PE teachers are going to be happy about the kids getting <laughs> wet, but oh. we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be one of the sites, but uh, we're also going to uh, Burns Park Tennis Center, Maple Lanes, Gates Park Golf Course, YMCA, Palmers, UNI. Waterloo Trampoline and Tumbling Center and Cedar Valley Sportsplex, where wow. my office is. Oh, is uh, it? Cadillac okay. XBC. So a lot of cool stuff going on. I want to shout out to Alex Hildman. He's our recreation specialist. Nice. And he does a lot of organizing for this event. It's a lot of work every year, but it's a lot of fun. Wow. If you get out there, and the, the public is invited to come cheer them on. It's a good time. Oh, the okay. mayor's yeah. fun run. That is yeah. going to, that sounds, the whole, so. the title, everything, and the fact that you get to race against the mayor. It should be That painting that I did for, for him has the fun run in there. Oh, that's yeah. right, mm -hmm. right. 
And you were talking earlier, Shaliva is always um, saying, she's often mentioned that how it's nice to have a, a town that's big but so small that you can actually right. have access yeah. to the mayor. Yes. And to have mm -hmm. it, there it is. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. That's Shaviva's painting that uh, the mayor commissioned her, uh, for her to do in his office. And, and it's just so nice. And where's the fun run? Oh, it's there are the kids up there <laughs> running. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I should have put yeah. him in the back. <laughs> All right. Did you put him in the front? <laughs> no, he's not oh, in there. Oh, he's okay. not. Just the kids are running, just the right? Kids, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it is well, nice it, to have. Well, it's good to get our fourth graders out there and make them aware of the benefits of physical fitness too. It's, That's it's a very, very important. I mean, it's it's fun, primarily fun, but it's also great for awareness for physical activity. Sometimes it our kids is. spend a little too much time with the phones. Please, so. nowadays yeah. you really better watch them, or they'll mm -hmm. be. Lord of the Rings, what is it? <laughs> Fortnite yeah. and all that all other that stuff, stuff, right? Yeah. So yeah, get out there and do the fun run. What date is that? We have comments, maybe, I think, Lori. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so Amy Cass said, congratulations, babe. That's right. <laughs> We're right. going to yes. get to that part. Thank yeah. you. And yeah. Then, and then um, Matthew Paul. Carpenter. <laughs> you mean congratulations, Paul? His, oh, his name is Dave. Paul. Oh, okay, Dave. Paul. Who's Dave? Who is that? I thought you were. Well, maybe it's Dave Bozen. Oh, Dave Bozen. <laughs> oh, okay, there yes. you go. That's okay. right. Sorry, That's but right. you too. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we took care of away and gave it to him. Yep. Uh, happy Friday. See you soon from Carpenter's Diner. Oh, yes. yes. Matthew Carpenter. Okay, oh, we hey, love Matthew. you, Matt. Thank you so much for staying around, staying up with us. Breakfast Tuesday was great. Oh, okay. there you go. That's a After good After our place. board meeting. Great place to go. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, those hash browns, mm -hmm. my goodness, yes. Thank you. Chaviva, I thought you were going to say something to Paul. No? Looked like you were getting ready to say something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk to you about our topic for it. We want to know how, okay, okay first, wait, 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 back it up, back it up. Back it up. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You're going, you are the recipient of our um, Quality, Quality of Life, of Life Award. Award. And we understood that you couldn't be there to accept it, but we just know how dedicated your career has been to the quality of all of our lives here in Black Hawk County. Well, thank you. Yes. And yeah. looking at the class of 24, I'm honored to be in that class. Oh. That, there are a lot of yeah, so great people there. So thank and, you. And, and yeah. Thank you for the award, and it's, it's humbling, and it's, it's nice to know that people appreciate their quality of life. Yes, well you're so welcome. Yeah, because Absolutely. we have a great community. Yes, and sometimes you don't recognize um, concerning things for the quality of life. They may escape you because uh, until or unless something is going downhill, mm -hmm. then you notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it's great, it's just, you're just aware of that. That's a, a wonderful thing. And we have a person that we can connect that to on a certain level and say thank you. Right, yes. yes. Well, thank you. You're so it. welcome. And you know, I felt like um, when I accidentally met you at Gates Park, I felt like, what a great thing. Mm -hmm. Here, Here's the inventor, or the not the creator, <laughs> we know, yeah, but, that I, okay. <laughs> but I was really like, well, isn't that great that he's here and we're here at the same time? And you, I don't know if that was your first time on opening day. You were probably there earlier, too. We were there a little earlier. Yes. But yeah, and it was it was an exciting day. It was. And as far as inventing, we did have a great design firm, Ritland Caper, came up with the plans. Okay. And of course we get to take credit for it. But sure. it, it really you. did come together nicely. Yes. Okay. I think you told us you have two more weeks to work and you're retiring. Yes. 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 And my assistant director decided to go on vacation for two weeks. So uh -huh. I'm gonna have to actually work for oh, two weeks. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Well how about that? Well we know you're gonna finish out strong. There and, you go. And <laughs> enjoy every minute of it. Okay. Yep. Well, we will like to ask you some more questions a little bit later, but right now, as Rocky said, we wanted to um, talk about our talking point. Talking point. Yes. Okay. And if you're not going to, oh, we understand that you're not going to master the rest of your life in one day and just relax. Thank you, Agnes. Master the day, then keep doing that every day. So we know someone may need to hear that. And how mm -hmm. are you going to handle that as you're retired? Because so much to do, maybe around the house or yeah. you're behind in a few fishing trips. Uh -huh. I've been stalking uh -huh. your page to uh -huh. find out what you might be doing. <laughs> I think 
That's very sage advice. Take it one day at a time. And that's my plan. Take it one day at a time and see what develops. Um, I'm uh, chairman of the board at the Public Employees Credit Union across the street here. So oh, that'll, nice. that'll keep me a little bit busy anyway and, and a little bit connected. But uh, yeah, I, I have a nice boat that I bought recently and oh. I'm going to try that out and, and uh, just see how things go. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. Take okay. it one day at a time. There Good advice. Go. How about you, Chevy? What does that mean to you? Does that resonate with your spirit? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm a person. As long as I'm taking slow, small steps towards an objective, I'm okay. But trying to do too much at one time or trying to just pack it all in—that's <laughs> frustrating, <clears throat> and it's not very productive either. So yes. yes. Right, that, right, and life happens a day at a time, so I try to deal with things like that. Yeah, everything a day so, at a time. Mike, what about you, Lori? What are you thinking about that? Do you like to take one day? Or do you try to master everything all in one day? Uh, I sometimes I'm guilty of taking on too much. Yes, uh, and I have I've, I'm learning to slow down and take a little little bit at a time. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, my, my little thing that I'm going to say is kind of funny. It's um, I saw a meme, of course, because that's all I do is I live on Facebook, right? I got a virtual life. But um, it said, why do people keep saying take them one day at a time? What am I going to do, skip Thursday? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so there, okay, good there's one. that. But yeah, yeah, but it is. It's one day at a time. And live in the moment. You know, yeah. you have to learn yeah. to live in the moment and appreciate so the only other thing I'd say is that having worked with a lot of planners over the years, oh, yeah. there's some benefit to planning ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you don't have to worry about that entire plan the, the whole time. But, you know, had we not done a master plan for Gates Park, it might have been a mess. Ooh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. So planning's okay, but yeah. thinking you have to do it all at once is not okay. Right. Because it just doesn't work that way. Yeah, but sometimes you can feel the gravity of something, you know, that's just like you feel like you got to get it done. You're not making progress, mm -hmm. so you want to attempt too much. Right. But yeah, so I think we're going to talk about our, ta our give it here, which is a, it's a tough one, but we're going to go get through this. Racist things, hateful imagery in the American home. Um, I don't know, a lot of uh, our grandmothers and mothers maybe, you know, have had yeah. racist little things in the home that have been passed down through generations and even considered as uh, antiques or heirlooms hmm. and things like that. Um, or even things just out in the public that are um, displayed that are just mm -hmm. supposedly cutesy or whatever or kitsch, whatever you want to call it. And it's been normalized so much to the extent that people don't really realize how offensive that those things can be. Yes. And a lot of the things that black people have done to um, reverse or especially because a lot of people have uh, have encountered the their own identity, you know, is mm -hmm. how and not being a favorable identity because of these kinds of images. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times the black culture has countered that by creating black girl magic and black boy magic and black think, boy joy black yeah, boy joy to give positive reflections because of this kind of stuff that's been passed down mm -hmm. a person may not feel very good about themselves and heaven forbid that happens so a lot of times when you hear about those um, positive things like we just mentioned mm -hmm. that's because it, we have to counter some of that sometimes because it's out there and it's basically I guess what you'd call systemic racism when you just put something out there about a culture you don't know nothing about so we just wanted to give that a little air yes right yes. So if you go back blackface yeah. you go back a lot of years you kind of might remember some of the theme parks in Waterloo and one of them that a lot of people thought was really fun and I don't know enjoyable neat, yeah. whatever was called engine country oh sure or, yeah and ah. it, it was horribly offensive sure. to Native Americans for obvious reasons yeah I mean the fun stuff was arrows and trees and things like that yeah and you know we in the 50s right now you know how old I am. Okay. You know, <laughs> you know, sure. Watch cowboy movies and oh, things yeah. like that. And That's so, another example. You know, there's an example of something that the whole community was using and uh, 
we actually got a letter from the governor's office saying, um, this is not right. Well, and, yeah. you know, it was, and it, it was put in in the 60s, but sure. it just kind of stayed there and stayed there and stayed there, and it was offending people that sure. whole time. Yeah. So, like you know, sometimes you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're around it, you don't think about it, and, and right. it's there and it's offensive. To yes, people. yes. Like a lot of things. Yes. Thank you, Lori. So, yeah, thank you for that comparison um, because that's true. You know, anything in uh, Western culture has a tendency to um, marginalize people intentionally or not intentionally. Mm -hmm. But like you said, we just wanted to give that a little air. Yes, Did you indeed. have something else no, to say? No, I was going to say that just that whole thing of it, it becomes so normalized yeah. that on the surface of things, people can be completely unaware of it. That is to say the people who it's not Affect. directly affecting. That's true. It becomes invisible. And if you are offended by it, sometimes you're afraid to speak up, mm -hmm. to say, well, I don't like that, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Hopefully someone can learn a little bit from that. And we're going to go ahead and keep it moving. Yes. And um, what else do we have, Shaviva? We have questions for our guests. Okay. And so we did this new thing since we got like six minutes left. <laughs> so Shaviva and I want you to ask us a question. There's, what is some, that? Questions. there's some questions yes, in there? Yes, there's some questions in there. Oh. Just oh, about that. Okay. So we're going to find out how well Shaviva and I know each other. How okay. well do you know your best? Yes, that's a new segment. All right. I can't see you back there. I, think I see this four. One. This is fun. Okay. What do we have? Okay. Who am I asking this? Of? Um, both of us. And we're okay, both, both write of the you. Answer down. Okay. What is their favorite hobby? Oh, easy peasy. Okay. Oh, we're not going to write it down? I, I don't have a pen. I, I'm waiting for yours. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, Lori, for both of us, you uh, think? Lori's a good friend, too. She'll probably okay. get them right. All right. So okay. it's fishing for both of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love fishing. I didn't know what to write down uh, for that, you know. Cause, I'm okay. sorry. I wasn't supposed to speak. It is okay. fishing. I'm a fisherman's daughter, truth be told. Okay, what's yours? I said that your favorite uh, hobby is gardening or landscaping. I think you'd be right. And I said your favorite hobby is hitchhiking. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say something yeah, silly. Yeah, just something, yeah. Art. Right? Yeah, right? Six. yeah there, that's her. <laughs> See, no, I, need that, I deserve a bite of my cookie for that. Okay, <laughs> so art. Art, yes. art definitely. Yes. If I want to, and, and I know she's in her happy place, if I call and she mm -hmm. says, I said, what are you doing? Art, just doing mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to get caught up. Yep. Well, thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Shaviva and I are learning a lot more about each other every week. So. Next question. Oh, there's another one. Well, how many would you? No, oh, you no, want to do one no a week? that's enough. That's next week. <laughs> we're okay. just keeping them in there. Thanks, I wanted Paul. To, I wanted to learn the answer to that. Oh, well. I'll see, tune you'll in have next to week. watch. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, what else, Shaviva, moving well, right along? One thing that I would like to ask you, oh, Paul. Oh, yes. Okay, one of the most satisfying things about the work that you've done over the years um, as Director of Leisure Services? I'm sure there's I way more than one. I, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of things, and um, I think I alluded to what I had heard from some people, but to actually be in a park, people don't know who you are, mm -hmm. and you hear positive statements, or you see people really enjoying themselves and having a good time. And, um, we've done a lot of park projects over the years. Gates is the biggest and the, probably the best. Yeah. But I can remember Lafayette Park many years ago was a tired park and we got um, some federal funding through the RAF district oh, to completely great. redo Lafayette Park. And mm -hmm. I was walking the trail around the park with my parents actually, so mm -hmm. uh, just showing it to them and, and someone walked by and said, I can't believe that they made such a beautiful park and it just you know that makes it all course. worthwhile right it got there. to you yeah because so. it certainly is and the yeah. way they made it because everybody my late husband used to call it pat's pond mm -hmm. um and because i guess it flooded every year mm -hmm. and did. yeah so yeah. The, the way they the way you guys re, the city uh, revamped so it. similar things because we do a lot of it we don't just do parks but to to see kids having 
a good time and building confidence in their sports programs that we offer or kids learning how to swim. Yeah. Just seeing some positive impact in the community on what we have worked hard to do is really quite gratifying. Well, so, good. Well, we're gratified. That's my answer. Yes. I'm sticking to it. Awesome. Okay. We are gratified that you've um, done such a great job. For how many years? 44. 44 years. 30. Now that is a career, yes. right? My word. 30 as director. Oh, wow. my. I started as landscape foreman, so that's your hobby, right? Yeah, landscape. right. <laughs> Used so. to be to my back when I, <laughs> right? I don't do much landscaping anymore, but so. I do love gardening. Yeah. yeah. Well, so do I. Now, yeah. retirement, just one last question. Retirement is something, of course, that people tend to look forward to like, as something, you know, they really... Um, like, yeah, that's okay. Yes, so, that's something that you look forward to, but is there anything that you think you'll particularly miss about the work that you've been doing? Well, the biggest thing I'll miss is being around my coworkers, our oh, team. Oh, yeah. We have a great team, and we have a lot of fun while we work. Um, we deal with a complaint or two here and there, but, but overall, it's the people I'll miss. Um, and the leisure services team, but working with, with everyone down here at City Hall, too. Yeah. The, the city family is pretty tight-knit. I can uh, tell. We, we have a good time. So that's what I'll mainly miss. Well, you got to come down here and harass Ed and Agnes. <laughs> and Ed, what do you want to say today? Okay, <laughs> it's like time's up, right? Yeah, he's well, it's he's not ready to retire yet. So. No, no, not yet. So you'll get an interview one day after you put in 40 years, Ed. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want you to stay tuned because we got a couple things we want to do, and one of them is have you sing your solo. Uh -huh. You ready? Can you can just clap in and just hum? Okay, I can okay. clap and hum. Okay, <laughs> or actually, I want you to sing if you can. Okay, you have the ability. I put like it clap out and hum. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Our birthday greetings are brought to you today by Deuce Entertainment. Yes. And we want to say happy birthday to Nicole Blackledge, Deborah Carr, Bruce Vaughn Sr., Kanisha K.D. Davis. K.D. Yes. Troy Dalrymple yes. and J.J. Moses. Diana Sproul's having a party tomorrow night at Comfort Zone, yes. she said in our inbox. Yes. Gadiel Carter, Katie Turner, mm -hmm. Zena Oliver Perkins, my dear cousin Yolanda Tisdale Robinson, as well as my stepson Dana Ferguson. Hey, sweetie, big son, I love you. Okay, yeah. Me birthday. too, my son, Gadiel Carter. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, <laughs> yes, enjoy. Yes. your day so um yeah we're ready to sing our song and so, it goes so what? rudy jones has been giving me voice lessons oh you remember no him? Well, you, you, <laughs> you remember you're gonna be a anybody but rudy there you go okay now rudy you can sing just All fine right. anytime um agnes is laughing okay okay agnes i gotta get this beat going here okay. i'm <laughs> sure you would agree couldn't fit more perfectly than to have a world party on the day you came to be. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Come on now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. He's trying to move his microphone. Yeah. No, they I'm heard muffling you. It. Oh, he's covering. muffling it. Yeah. Okay, well, that was fun. Okay. For next time, get mm -hmm. ready for our upcoming shows. We got mm -hmm. some good guests That's coming right. up. That's right. We Big got, Q will be mm -hmm. here. Uh, Tisday or Tasha Monet, True Talent. That's yeah. right. And of course, someone from All In Grocers. Yes. And you know, okay. we're a couple of queen agers and we've been around for a while. Mm -hmm. We've learned a few things. Yes. And I've learned you can have everything in life you want if you will just help other people get what, Shaviv? I can't read it. What they want. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Zig Ziglar That's said right. that. Okay. Zig Ziglar I've said learned that. I've learned that having something to hope for, even if it's just oh. a better tomorrow, yes. is the best drug on the planet. That's right. Yes. That's right. Well that's a good one, Shaviva. Hey. Thanks for passing that on. Until next week. We want to congratulate Paul Hutting. And even though you won't be at our event October 11th, we hope you're having a good time. Where I'll you be there be? in spirit. Okay. There you go. One more. I'll give you a hand. Okay. Fishing. Fishing. Right. Okay, he'll be fishing. Okay. All right. Until next week, we want you to do more stuff like fishing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that makes you awesome. 
because it makes us all look good. See you next week. Don't forget.